What's up guys, how you all doing? Adam here and I am back for another video and in this video I want to talk to you about the best storage for photo and also video. Now you guys know I absolutely love storage, I'm a big fan of it. So today I just kind of wanted to talk through a little bit of my experience, my opinions uh, and also some products that you could look at if you're looking to have the absolute best possible storage for your photo and video and also just in general terms. So first of all, what is important when it comes to storage for photo and video? For me personally, the most important thing is performance, especially now with 4K video and even 4K video at 60 frames per second on this, for example, this is just a DSLR and this will record 4K 60 frames a second at 800 megabits per second, which if you work out is 100 megabytes per second. So for every 10 seconds, you're recording a gigabyte of video, and therefore you require a huge amount of storage to be able to archive it, or even just work on it as kind of like a scratch. Now, if you want to be able to store, for example, large quantities of huge video that cameras like that produce, then you're gonna need a bit of kit that is scalable to be able to do that. Now, my personal choice is sitting just over here next to me, and it's the QNAP Q, uh, TVS 871T. Now, I've done some videos on this before, and I'll try and flash some cards up if you wanna go and uh, check those out. But what that is, is a very, very high performance network attached storage box that also has on top of its dual 10 gigabit ports and five one gigabit ports, direct attached storage as well over IP using Thunderbolt 2. So that box theoretically can achieve up to 20 gigabits per second, which is absolutely outrageous, extremely fast over Thunderbolt 2. And with the expansion boxes, I've actually got two of them here, you can keep adding to that as and when you need to, to scale out your storage. So that really is the ultimate storage because not only does it give you the performance that you need, I get about 800 megabytes per second through that, through Thunderbolt 2. It also gives you the scalability that you need in terms of size. And on top of that, it also gives you all of the network attached storage functionality as well. So the ability to access all of your video, your photos, absolutely everything through a mobile phone application, for example, or through your laptop or wherever you are, at any place in the world, you can connect up and you can get direct access to all of your data uh, as well as what we're talking about here, which is obviously photo and video. Now, you don't obviously have to go that far. That's a real kind of high end uh, set of storage over there. If you want to take a step back and start right down in the kind of lower echelons, maybe you're just getting started, for example, I've got a couple of great examples for you. Now. This one doesn't necessarily fit as much into this particular theme as the other boxes I'm gonna talk about today. The reason being is that it doesn't have any direct attached storage. But the reason I wanna to talk to you about this one, and this one is the QNAP TBS453A, is because this is completely SSD only. And it's not just SSD that SATA attached, this is M2 SSD, so it's attached to PCI, which means it's incredibly fast. Now, on the back of this box here, you've got five gigabit ethernet ports, a whole bunch of USB, and two 4K HDMI outputs as well. And the, th the reason I like this, potentially in a video editing environment, is because not only is it insanely quick, obviously because of that M2 SSD, it's also silent as well. There's, there's literally no moving parts in this at all. So you don't have any of the kind of output from huge fans like you do, for example, on some of the other storage devices. So this could be useful in maybe like a studio environment uh, for not only for the noise of the fan, but also for the heat uh, dissipation as well. Obviously, if it's got a fan, it's gonna be kicking out heat, whereas this one stays very, very cool. So that's a real great option for you. Now, Next in line, and these to me are absolutely ideal for anyone who is looking literally for the very best storage for their photography and video. And let's, let's expand it out just a little bit beyond that. 
This can be used for absolutely any kind of storage, whether you're walking, working on, for example, AutoCAD, uh, obviously photo and video that we're talking about. Maybe you're even doing some kind of virtualization in the enterprise that you wanna practice on at home or something like that. These boxes will do that for you. Now the next kind of one up that I wanna to talk to you about, and this is, I would guess kind of the lowest one in the range if you like. This box here, uh, is very very attractive I've got to say and this is I've forgotten the model number now this is the uh, TS 251A uh, now they also do this in a four bay version as well which would have, would be the, obviously the 451A uh, but this one is fantastic for a number of reasons first of all it's it's, a, it's an attractive box, it will look nice in any studio. Secondly, this thing's got great connectivity. It's got 4K output on the back HDMI, along with audio in and out, uh, two USB 3 and two gigabit ethernet as well. Now in addition to that, round here on the front, and this is why it's great, especially for photography, we've got uh, a SD card reader. Now you can literally get your SD card, put it in there, press this button here and it will synchronize all of that data directly from the SD card straight onto the two hard drives that you can sit in here. Now all of the stuff we talked about can all be redundant or resilient in terms of hard drives. So if one of these drives fails, the other one could potentially take over depending on the setup that you've got. You could also have two of these boxes and have them synchronized to one another. All of that functionality is all built into here. These things are incredibly powerful computers in their own right. Now below the SD card reader, we've also got a USB. So if you've got a USB dongle or a key thumb drive, something like that, again, plug it in, press the sync button and it will copy it natively straight onto the storage inside the box without you having to even plug into a computer. So for photography uh, and potentially some of the kind of smaller sized video work, this is absolutely fantastic for both the professional and also for the consumer at home as well. Now, something that is extremely unique about this particular uh, NAS device is it's got this extra port here for USB 3. And this port here is a USB port that you can actually connect your computer directly into. So much like the Thunderbolt box that I've spoke to you about earlier that had direct attached storage, this one also has direct attached storage, but instead of going over the Thunderbolt, which not every computer has and is obviously more expensive, you can do this directly over USB 3 and see the storage directly on your computer without using any networking whatsoever. So a lot of people say, oh, I don't want network attached storage. I don't want the network inside of it. I just want a, an external hard drive. That's literally what this is, but it gives you a whole world of flexibility outside just that standard direct attached storage. And this is a fantastic bit of kit uh, for people that are looking to start out in the world of photo, video, uh, or whatever the case may be. Really, really uh, impressed with that since I've been testing it. And in terms of the amount of storage, you know, you can have two six terabyte disks in here, for example. So you could have 12 terabytes, or you could have six terabyte mirrored, um, or you can have multiple boxes and have them replicated, like I said. Now, this one, and this is gonna be a bit more difficult uh, to um, pick up. And in fact, before I do, this is the TVS 682A. Uh, no, TVS 682T, sorry, for Thunderbolt. Now, this particular box here um, is a beast. This thing has got three-staged tiered storage. Now, what that means is that it's got M2 SSD inside, it's got two SSD slots for SATA, and also four normal three and a half inch hard drives as well. Now, I'm gonna put this down and I'll put some B-roll up so you can uh, see details of the box, but what does this three-tiered storage mean? What it means is ultimate performance for the best cost. Now, if you want the best performance, you'd have M2 SSD throughout. However, that's the most expensive. Uh, if you want the most storage, then you'd have three and a half inch SATA drives. They now go up to potentially 10 terabytes per disk. However, the normal SATA drives don't have the performance of the M2 SSD. So maybe you'd say, right, let's use SSD, normal SSD. Again, you don't really have those higher capacities and it's fairly high cost. What tiered storage does is it says, right, I'm gonna break down these three levels of storage. I'm gonna put the most accessed data on the fastest storage and the least accessed data on the slowest storage. And this particular box, the TVS 
682T, this is gonna do all of that for you. So the data that you access most frequently will be on M2 SSD, the mid tier uh, will be on SSD, and then the stuff that you're potentially archiving off will be sitting on SATA drives. So it gives you the most performance for your money, and this is a fantastic bit of kit. If we come round onto the back of this box, the connectivity is absolutely incredible. On the back here, you've got three 4K HDMI outputs, you've got four gigabit LAN Ethernet ports, you've got four USB 3, you've got some audio in and out, and in addition to that, you've got Thunderbolt 2, which gives you the ability to go up to 20 gigabits per second, and we've also got dual 10 gigabit per second Ethernet LAN. This thing is a beast. Um, the price that you can get this for though is fantastic. And if you are looking for something that will not only give you access to all of your work, all of your data, your photos, your video, all of your native documents on the go, but also direct attached storage and network attached storage that everyone in your in your small business or your home can all utilize and, and use as backup for the, at the same time, this thing is gonna be absolutely phenomenal for you. So anyway, there is a range of devices for you that give you literally the best of, of every single world in terms of storage right the way through. And I promise you, if you look at any of these boxes, uh, you will not be disappointed in any way whatsoever. Uh, I've used these now for years uh, on with all of my video work, all of my photo work, and... Not only that, I also use it for a whole bunch of virtualization, uh, getting access to all of my data from anywhere in the world as well. And th I've been blown away by the reliability, the scalability, and also the performance. Anyway, guys, I know that was a bit of a long video, but thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you want any kind of similar videos, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try and accommodate you, uh, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.